Hello everyone, Greg Ross, Rat Trapping Tips, 25th of May 2023, so here on Canada's beautiful west coast, look at that, this is where I live, it's amazing, the islands, the mountains, the ocean. Beautiful spring morning. So I've just been checking a few traps, various properties, and I've come to this property where I go to check traps under this cottage. Mostly mice. Getting a lot of mice at the moment. But rats, you can imagine this beautiful, beautiful pristine ecosystem, which it pretty much still is. But now we've got rats, Norway rat and black rats throughout this, these islands. Those islands over there have them. I have to go over there sometimes and deal with them. And all the islands, and especially Vancouver Island, they all have rats. And these are invasive species. These are noxious animals. They are not native. When they get into a beautiful environment like this, the first thing they do is stop start knocking off native species so they'll prey on birds salamanders lizards snakes anything that moves beetles insects slugs snails rats eat everything and anything and even the bark on the trees if they get really hungry they'll strip the strip the forest of leaves and bark on the trees so they are a disaster for any ecosystem and unfortunately during the colonization of places like Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, the British and the other Europeans took rats on their ships. Rats are great travelers, so all these places have rats, and rats have exterminated many, many native species all around the world. And they continue to be a, basically a disaster for a lot of native species. In New Zealand, most of the birds are flightless and rats have really hit heavily on the New Zealand native birds. I think they've exterminated numerous bird species and insect species in New Zealand. And New Zealand spends, I think, at least a billion dollars a year to try and control noxious animals like rats. And New Zealand's population is only five million people, so a billion a year is a lot. Anyways, all we can do is try and control them, keep the traps and the poison going, and uh, cats, dogs, mink, anything that works, keep the rats under control. In Mumbai, India, somewhere around 40,000 people a year die from rat bite, because there's a lot of slums in Mumbai, especially around the airport, and people get bitten sometimes three or four times a night by rats. They sleep in the garbage, the people sleep in the garbage, the rats sleep in the garbage. So rats, on a global scale, cause humanity huge, huge problems. National Geographic quotes their figure year after year that rats, every year rats consume 20 to 25% of our food production which is a lot of food, isn't it? Rats eat it or soil it, so it can't be used. So I have no mercy for rats. That's one animal that I show absolutely no mercy to because of the amount of suffering they cause humans and other animals and birds. And you can do your bit by keeping a few traps set if you have rats in your neighborhood. Every little bit helps. Anyways, I'm going to go under this house and see what's happening because there's been some noises under there recently. That's why I'm here today. Noises under the floor. And right here it could be otter. Could be an otter. Could be a mink. Could be a raccoon. Could be feral cat. Could be rats. Could be mice. And that's about it. But that's quite a range of things to choose from. We do have a lot of otters here, not sea otters, but freshwater otters, but they, they do actually 
feed in the ocean. So they're freshwater stream and river otters, but they live around the coastline here and they go inland. And if you've got property here on the coastline, sometime or other, it's going to have otters under it and they stink, make a fuss at night, make a noise at night. Anyways, I'll go under and see what uh, what's happening under here. Thanks for watching and thanks for liking and for subscribing.